The Persian Gulf is home to vast amounts of natural resources, oil and gas. That mineral wealth puts the region in a unique position. The abundance of gas in particular could help those countries who are suffering from severe shortages following Russia's decision to cut gas supplies. Including Germany. Germans are particularly dependent on Russian gas to heat homes and fuel production processes. To compensate for these supply gaps, it's turning to Gulf states to meet demands, in the hope of brokering new deals with Qatar, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. The Gulf states do have ample reserves in natural gas. It's quite cheap compared to other sources. And uh, they are very, very trained and experienced in exporting that gas, particularly through LNG. Liquefied natural gas, or LNG, will be vital in meeting Germany's energy needs. And Qatar has plenty. On the global market, it is the second largest exporter of LNG. But Qatar also has its own interests. Qatar in particular is a country that is known to be mostly interested in reliable and profitable business relations. Qatar is less interested in being the guy to fill the gap, but eventually Qatar is interested to become a long-term supplier for Germany. But committing to long-term contracts might not be an option for Germany. The government is transitioning away from fossil fuels and towards renewable energy sources. This is where Saudi Arabia could come into play. The kingdom currently wants to export crude oil and hydrogen to Germany. Even though it has the world's eighth largest proven natural gas reserves, it mainly requires gas for its own domestic production. Saudi Arabia has now set a target of doubling gas production by 2030 to meet new gas demands on the global market. But again, national interests could clash. So in particular, uh, Saudi Arabia might demand Germany to, uh, to, to loosen or perhaps even to remove uh, its, uh, its arms export ban that Germany introduced, uh, particularly with regard to the Yemen war. Since 2014, Saudi Arabia has been heavily involved in the war in Yemen. So relations with Saudi Arabia are considered politically sensitive. Not least because of the ruling prince's suspected involvement in the murder of journalist Jamal Khashoggi almost four years ago. So that leaves the third country, the United Arab Emirates, as the most likely partner for a gas deal. Well, I think, you know, the Emirates uh, can probably offer what Germany wants right now, which is a short-term contract. Such a deal could be a big boost for Germany, with one caveat. The much-needed infrastructure to export energy supplies does not yet exist. These LNG export plans, they need about three to five years to be built, so we know how the market is going to look like up to 2025. And the problem is that there is not that much additional LNG export capacity which is going to come to the market. So the market is going to remain tight. And while many European countries already have LNG terminals, Germany has yet to build one. The government has five currently in the pipeline, but until then, it will be dependent on European neighbors. With that, Prices are likely going to stay high and Germany might find itself making political concessions to others in order to satisfy its energy needs.